In today's video, we are going to look at the color grading tab inside of Lightroom, where you can do all sorts of things to your shadows, midtones and highlights and the global colors as well to make it look different and to give it some sort of more contrast in the colors and stuff. So let's just head over to Lightroom and take a look at it. All right, so we are in Lightroom now and we are in the color grading tab that you find in the right side of your develop tab here. So it might look slightly different in the order because I've customized my order, but you will find the color grading tab somewhere in here. Usually it'll open up like this. I like to go into each individual one, but you will control the shadows, the midtones and the highlights. And then for the last one, we have the global tabs one. So if we jump into the shadows first, you have a color wheel and what you do with the color grading tab is that you can apply different colors from the wheel into the specific areas, the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights of your photo. So what it does is that if we drag it, you can see that now we are in the green colors. You can see it becomes very, very green. If we drag it down towards the blue, they're actually still quite green, but you can see that the blue tones are taking over as well. Then it gets more purple down here, red, orange, yellow, and then back to the green. So this is kind of how you can apply different colors to your image in the different parts without touching the other ones. Now, if you choose the max saturation, which is 100, then it might be a little bit too much. Usually I go way lower than that. So I like to do somewhere between the blue and the uh, teal for the shadows usually. So for this image, I'll probably go somewhere around here and then I'll do much less in terms of the saturation. So maybe between somewhere between three and 15, probably let's go with 10 for now. And if we turn it off and turn it on again, you can see it's, it's just very subtle for this one. Actually, it doesn't do a lot. If we go more into the shadows here, you can see that it becomes slightly more blue. Same thing we do for the midtones. Now, something you can do to create contrast in your colors, which is what I usually do with the color grading tab, is to do opposite colors. So for the midtones, I will usually then go a bit more into the orange because that's opposite of the teal that we just chose. And that will be way too much as well. So let's let's move that down to around maybe 16. Looks good. You can also calibrate it up here. And let's just see now our midtones became slightly more warm. So you can see they're a little bit more green here now. And then when we turn it on again, they come become a little bit more orange. And the same thing we can do for the highlights. We can make them orange. And you like to take it up all the way to see what I'm actually doing and then turning it, oh, turning it down afterwards. And now for some images, it might not be the biggest changes that you're seeing. I think you can see that this one is a little bit more warm and the change in the shadows is very slight. Um, it doesn't make a lot of difference here. Then for the global tab, this will apply to the entire image. So if we just make it orange, you can see this will just make everything look more in the color that you choose. Usually I would probably go with something like orange as well. And you can see that if we just turn it down slightly here, then this is now the difference that we made. Now it's way more warm and it looks a little bit more contrasty in the colors, if you can say so. Another example could be this photo. This was shot at sunset and we have some shadows up here. We have some shadows in the water and then we have some more midtones and highlights here where the sun was actually shining on the cliff. So if we do the same thing here, we go to the shadows, we turn them into the uh, blue or teal. You can see it become much more blue here and up here as well. So if we turn them slightly down, then I think this is pretty good. Let's see, turn it off. You can see it becomes more blue um, up here and up here. Then if we are going with these, you can see it actually affects mostly this part, but you can also see that the sun is shining here. And then we have some of the colors down here because these are all the midtones that we are affecting. And let's turn that down a little bit as well, but I actually want this to be slightly warmer because it was shot at sunset, but it can be a little bit difficult to see with this raw file. So this is a way to bring back that feeling, that sunset feeling as well, or sunrise, those warm tones. And we will do the same with the highlights and just maybe have them around here. So these are more saturated than we did with the first one. You can see the difference here. You can see that 
we get some more warmth in here, especially in the photo. And we make these a little bit more cool with the teal tones. We could go into the global one as well and just make it all a little bit more orange. Probably wouldn't go as high with that one. And this is sort of what we're getting now. You can also control the luminance of each of these. So you can brighten up the midtones like we're doing here. You could do the same with the highlights or maybe you want to turn them down a little bit. We want to turn them up in this case. And for the shadows, maybe we want to make them darker. You could also make them a little bit more light. This is not something that I usually do, but the possibilities are there as well. And what you can see that we've done now is that we have made it more warm. I think we've made it look a little bit more like a sunset, to be honest. And this is just bringing some colors into these areas that weren't there before. We could probably do a lot of work in different places as well with masking, but this is a way to apply the colors to the different areas of the photos really quickly and really easily. This last example is this shot of a sunrise and we will do the same thing and for this one you will see a lot more happening because you can see up on the histogram here um, now i've faded the blacks a little bit so that's where there's a big gap up here but if we just turn that down to be the normal one you can see that we have uh, our blacks up here and we have a lot of highlights as well so this would be this area of the highlights and then we have the blacks uh, and the shadows down here so if we put some more blue into the the shadows here you will see that difference you will see it becomes much more like lush green and let's just keep it oversaturated for now just to show the difference so for the midtones let's make that very orange and i can't look at it if it's too orange so we'll turn it down not all the way but just a little bit and for the highlights as well let's just make that orange as well just to showcase this we'll do halfway set so if we turn this off and on again, you can see a huge difference in, in this one. You can really see where the different areas apply for the shadows. You can see how the blue tones really affect. They're much more warm from the beginning right now, but then when we turn off this blue, it becomes much more lush green because the greens, the yellows and the blues are mushed together up here. And then you can see how it affects the mid tones as well this area here especially where it's not too bright but it's still <clears throat> right in the middle so let's just put that there in the middle and actually let's go with the global tab as well and just turn that a little bit orange as well this gives us a really warm sunrise look and what you can do as well you don't have to make the contrast so you could make this one very red and orange as well so maybe not go all the way oh, that far but maybe here and then you'll see there's not a, a, as much contrast but now we have a photo maybe turn off the global one now we have a photo that is just very warm and very orange and this could be somewhat what it looked like when we were actually seeing the scenario or the scenery in reality um, it was very warm and because the sun was just coming up there was no clouds it was shining throughout the scene but personally i like it more if we turn down the shadows to make it more green and this is still a little bit too much for me i think but this is a way that you can edit as well and put your personal touch on your photos you can also go in different directions with the purples with the reds with the greens um, if you do try to make contrasting colors opposite of the wheels makes the most sense usually i don't know how this will look if we make these uh, green and make these purple it will probably look a little bit funny i have not tried this before uh, it makes kind of like this retro look so that could be a way to go as well let's just command c us back to the way that it was before like this and i'm currently working on a preset pack that will help you adjust these different tabs easily so that you can get a starting point and you can easily understand how these are working it's not out yet but it will be very soon you can see how it is out here i'm working on a lot of different different sections and it'll be kind of like a modular preset but i've just made a few ones here you can see these are all orange and as i said i'm not going as far as we just did in this tutorial with the different colors but this is like an all orange one then we have blue and orange you can see how it, it slightly affects them differently 
and this one is a teal and orange like the one that we started with so if we just choose this one you can see that now we have this teal and orange look it's not too too much it's, it's subtle but it still does make a big difference in terms of what you can see now if you like it or not with or without the color grading tab and what we've done here is personally uh, up to personal preference and there's no right or wrong but this tool, the color grading tool, is a really powerful one to bring some more contrast into your photo, bring back some of these colors in the highlights, in the shadows that you maybe don't have, or maybe you just want to put your personal touch on it. So this is a way to work with the color grading tab. I really hope that you learned something and got something out of it. Look out for the preset pack if you are interested in that. And there's already a link in the description to where it will be, but also where there are a few presets available that you can download for free to try out and um, see for yourself. It's just something that I've used for my other YouTube videos so that I'm giving away for free. Um, but this preset pack particularly that I'm going to launch soon is going to teach you and help you with, with understanding the different tabs out here to make it easier for you to work with Lightroom, to work with your photos, with your files, to get an easy understanding on how all of these different tabs work so you can easily get to your creative spot and to your personal touch and personal preference in terms of how you edit your photos as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.